Sensor was scanned to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and I'm not crazy, I swear. It's just what the leprechauns tell me. <laughs> and joining me today on the podcast, we have Stuart, the news guy, and Amy, I can hear echoes coming through your channel, girl. I just killed it. Excellent. Um, and Hulk just made it in time. <laughs> Hawk made it, and Scarecrow has arrived late like usual. Hey, hey, hey. So. I started a little close today, but I made it. A little but close. Alive, you're late. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> anyway, so this week on the podcast, we are talking Thunderbirds reboot and Supernova Gold Coast, which is coming up this weekend. Um, who we're looking forward to, what we plan on doing, and yeah, that's all the, all the fun stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get started with the easy topic. Thunderbirds. Um, Five. Have you... Have four. You... Oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Thank God I would be... Uh, space. Anyway, um, so recently... Um, what, what what channel was it? I've forgotten already. Anyway. Uh, go. Go. Um, no, it was started in the UK, didn't it? Anyway, whatever. Anyway, yeah, Reese... Probably. On. Oh, the start in the UK? Uh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, Thunderbirds are go is a CG, um, CG reboot of thun- the old 1960s Thunderbird show. And there is so many references in it to the 60s show. It's <laughs> hilarious. Yes. It's like the, the first episode is almost a tribute from one end to the other to the 60s series. And visually, the way they've done it, I thought is... And I know Stuart's seen it. I don't know if the other two have seen it. I've seen it. I've yeah. seen all three episodes though. Made it around so far. Sweet. I, I haven't. Um, would you guys agree that they've got the animation and the feel of the show perfect? Mm-hmm. I completely, totally agree on this. It hits all the right feel spots. It's, it's with none of the dodgy. Yeah, it, it's really hard to reboot a show from fifty plus years ago, and keep its soul, lack of a better word. You're a bit loud, it, David. I am. Sorry. Um, it it feels like this show. It's A lot of the animation is done to look like miniatures. So when you see the Thunderbirds flying around and flying away from Tracy Island, mm. the island itself, um, the water effect looks like the water is in a pond and the island is like scaled down. It looks... And it's just got that feel about it. I think they've done a really good job. Especially when it comes to the rocket effects. Yeah, it it hits the feel spots. It really does. But I remember some of the... From watching the old series way back... There are some inconsistent moments... In there yeah. where things just don't seem to want to work properly. Yeah. Yeah, there was the, 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 in the first episode when the dish was falling, you could sort of see the model was separate from the miniature. Yeah. I mean, it didn't quite sort of mesh, but other than that, it was very hard to sort of pick a specific thing. They've also, I have to say this, they've also kept the characters somewhat relatable Which... to people who watched the recent Hollywood movie of it. Yeah. And Which in and of itself wasn't that bad. Haven't actually seen that. It feels wrong in some ways, but in other ways, it feels like a pretty decent Hollywood yeah. adaptation of it. Like yeah, they the got movie the, has a, the, they got, got the core of it, but yeah. they fucked up on some of the bits and pieces. Yeah. But the reboot feel... they've got doing now, the, some of the characters feel like they also have some quirks that were introduced to the characters from that movie to bridge yeah. it a bit. Especially Alan. <laughs> yeah. And K.O. Yes, K.O. for sure. K.O. I actually kind of... <laughs> I actually really like K.O. Although, I don't understand why they gave yeah. Penelope a pug. 
I don't think I remember her having a pug in the original. She I didn't. Do. Early. The first huh. episode or two, she had a pug. Huh. Fair enough. Although, have you guys seen episode three of yet? Uh, no, not no. yet. No, because I'm, um, I'm watching them on Go because they're showing the episodes there. Yeah. yeah, I got... I got twitchy the other day after the last podcast we had when Dave mentioned that he'd found this, and I went and started looking at it, and I found... Um, first two episodes, and then yesterday they released episode three, so I kind of grabbed it as well. <laughs> um, I am very glad I did, because, well, I've never actually said this before. I feel respect for Parker. Oh? Oh, oh okay. This is got interesting. Why is that? Yeah. Okay, how many people have seen the uh, gags from a while back of Sam <laughs> Fisher in a wheelchair? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, not a wheelchair, a walking frame. Yeah, I remember that. Sam F Parker feels like an older Fisher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly... I actually have some respect for the guy now after this last episode. Actually, the the, um, the voice form s sounds almost like the original. Like I the know. voice acting, like the voice acting for all of them is really amazing. But like Parker's voice acted, it, it sounds so much like the original. Yeah, I know they've done him. They've got him really well. Yeah, whoever it is is absolutely. I'm gonna actually look this up. Yeah. Did you also notice that when the um, the three D models models move, they move in a very marionette sort of way? Yeah. yeah. Like when they even when they speak, they, it's very sort of it's not even in sync. It's almost intentionally out of sync in places, just like it was in the original series. And I thought that was a really nice sort of touch. It was. It hits the feels. It yeah. really hits the feel spots. Which is what it needed to hit for this to work. Yeah. Maybe now they can look into some of the other bits and pieces and get a little bit more inventive and crazy with it. Yeah. But I think they've hit the high points that they were aiming for. Yeah. In the first uh, couple episodes. So I just found something I'm um, interesting. I'm looking up the the voice actor for Parker. And he actually did the Daleks in the old Doctor Who series in the 60s and 70s. Wow. <laughs> this guy gets around. Yeah. He's, like, he's, it's amazing what he's done, so pretty wow. cool. Wow. No. No. Wait, no. Oh, Just my God. Same it's person? Actually, it is actually the original Parker. Wow. It's, just, it's the Parker from Thunderbirds I go. Wow. They actually got the original. That is amazing. That is honestly amazing. The better question is, how many of the others are original? Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure too many of them are. I'm having a look now. Oh yeah, I've also got to say this: Alan gets a uh, lot of airtime in episode yes. three, and he deserves it because for so many uh, other series, he was a bit character. He'd get maybe, I think, in the original series, he got maybe five episodes that were dedicated to him. Yeah. And they've actually gone and done an Alan dedicated one in, in episode three. Nice. Oh, nice. wait, is he? Oh, God. Oh, so we've, he's we've, John. we've managed to break Stuart. No, 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 I'm just looking at voice actors and stuff. <laughs> the guy who does um John is actually um is in um, Game of Thrones. Oh, Ooh. God. It's, Can we just... um... So what you're saying is, now thanks to the rules of canonicality... <laughs> oh, the voice for Kaylee is even funnier now. Oh, oh, God. Do you guys remember the TV series Merlin that was on Channel 10? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I like that show. Yeah. K.O. is Gwen. Is Gwen. Oh. <laughs> Kaylin, uh, K.O. is Gwen over here. Okay. Why that do I get the feeling sense. that Amy's now going to be watching this show? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, Amy yep. can watch it because... She may or may not have got something from somebody yeah, earlier. No. Well, no, that, no. that actually sounded rather sus. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job, boy. <laughs> no, um, yes, so you, you, you have fun giving her the Thunderbirds. 
Yeah, the only original I got was um David Graham, who was the original Parker. Everyone else is all new people, Ooh. so. Oh, okay. That, yeah, oh, that's interesting. That's cool, that's still an awesome throwback. That's yeah, it is. Some throwback. And I find it funny that you guys noticed. I actually haven't seen the original Thunderbird since I was a kid, watching the probably fifty thousandth repeat of of episodes. Uh, <laughs> so just let's see on the foot what you know. Yep. Thunderbirds are go exclusive screenings of um, the first two seasons are gonna be, um episodes are gonna be at Supernova. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> they just pull, they just oh, pulling everything out at Gold Nova. Yeah. Yeah. Daredevil, yeah. Thunderbirds. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna, gonna be, be good. good. It's gonna be good. So. We're really going for the feels this time, aren't we? Yeah, That's we really... are. Oh yeah, I've actually heard Daredevil's amazing. Yeah. What I've seen of it so Ooh. far, it looks it. Yeah, all I'm gonna so... say is thank you, Netflix Australia. Oh yeah. Did Netflix Australia, for whatever reason, Supernova was meant to pr sort of Preview. do. Pre was meant to preview sort of Daredevil. It was meant to be sort of ahead of everywhere else and sort of meant to be a big thing. And then Netflix Australia goes, oh, by the way, we screwed the dates up. We're playing it now. And Supernova went, but it just... Uh. Yeah. And they released the whole season at once. <laughs> well, see, that's what Netflix does. Yeah. Netflix doesn't just do an episode. It would normally you'll do a whole season in a chunk and then you can watch that season at your own leisure. So then that's what I like about Netflix. Netflix is awesome. Like, spectacularly awesome. So, yeah. And really by, 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 by the way, Netflix, um, if you're interested, just give Save Sci-Fi a yell. We'll, we'll more than happily give you a couple more shout-outs. Just, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you throw a few uh, free subscriptions our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, please, I would love that. I still haven't got Netflix yet. I'm behind. Now, unfortunately, the Australian internet is so crap that it's hard to make it work properly. There's a lot of people out there still on dial-up. Not Oof. even joking. Oh, no. so. Don't even get me started on those who are... It's okay. Well, if, you, <laughs> if, you, if you happen to be listening, Lance, I'm sorry. This is probably a sore spot from years ago. But for those of you who are using mobile internet, aka LanceNet, oh. then my condolences. Yeah. And if you've got a job and you're still using that shit, then you need to be shot. Yeah. Well, some people don't have a choice because they don't have much in the way of any form of infrastructure in their area. But I've got ADSL 2 here and it's only got just enough bandwidth to watch standard def. And by just enough, I mean everything has to be switched off and disconnected from it for yeah, it to really. do the thing. It's just, yeah. That's just my crappy internet. It's so crap. It's like, imagine trying to live stream something on Netflix through dial-up. Like, okay, I'm going to start buffering now. I'll come back in six months, and I can probably watch the first five minutes. <laughs> what, you know what this reminds me of? the dial-up noise when we need it? Yeah. You know what that reminds me of, Dave? Yeah. Trying to download Zoids on dial-up. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I was literally downloading Chaotic Century on dial-up years ago. Wow. Oh. See, back then I actually had... Um, my computer was capable of capturing shows so i just plugged cheese tv into the thing and captured it that way <laughs> oh i was downloading it before cheese tv was showing it eh. Re rest in peace cheese tv you got replaced yeah. by a really crappy re uh, reboot they can't keep their own they can't keep the same people they keep changing over and over again yeah it's because they treat them like crap and they quit well actually to be perfectly honest i have no idea if that's true that's pure speculation and don't hold me to it well one, one of them one of them moved to um uh, totally wild. Nah. All I'm gonna say is nothing could beat Agro's cartoon connection. Nah. <laughs> oh god bless Agro. Yeah, awesome. I would love to have seen Agro and Animal together. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Agro and Dicky Knee. <laughs> Mr. Summers, Mr. Summers. <laughs> oh god, not Dicky Knee. <laughs> Oh, wow. the memories are strong Next. in this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we just went way off the, tr off the rails. We just and followed the memory train the whole way to happiness. And <laughs> now we're hopping back on the other train, which brings us back to Supernova, which doesn't. Oh, hey. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I could have an amazing Supernova. Oh, yeah. I'm I just be... found out um, um, one of the guys who does from... Uh, Ghost in the Shell's gonna be there. Voice oh, Richard Epcar. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's also uh his his resume list is incredible. He's uh Anthem from the Kingdom Hearts series. He's my oldest one from the original Digimon. Hello. <laughs> yeah. He's in Naruto. Like, yeah, Naruto. Um, like he's been he's Raiden in in Mortal Kombat, the new one. Street Fighters. Like he's been almost in anything in the past thirty odd years. It's crazy. Resident Evil. Yeah, like he's he's regarded as one of the top twenty um best voice actors in the world. After myself, of course. <laughs> and, and even better, autographs are free. Yes, autographs are Yo. free for all voice actors. So what I'm gonna the do? Or two. This, yeah, this is actually he's someone I want to go see. So I was gonna get um I was gonna take the um the crest down and get him to sign the box and show him the crest. That would be awesome. That would be mine. Jaja, no. <laughs> Put Jar Jar back in the box before you get spaced. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, puppy. <laughs> All right, anyway, on to the topic of um, who we're looking forward to seeing at Supernova, not including him. Let's uh, see. I'm, uh, uh, okay, you go first. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to Christopher Lloyd. I've, I've got taking my. Christopher- Taking my photo, I've already got a photo with him, but I want to get a photo of him in the DeLorean because oh, yeah. you can't say no to that. I might get that. I'm not sure. I don't know what my funds can't are going to be. So. Yeah, so. he'll be too expensive for me. Yeah. Me, me and Jody is going hard and getting pictured with um George Takai. Yeah, I got the Warp Factor ticket, so I get a photo with all three. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Yeah. Oh my! Um, oh my! God, Actually, I could... reached out to EJ and uh, um tried to get him to get Walter on, but no, he's too busy. Sad face. <laughs> I must say, I wonder how many times he's going to say that over the two weekends. Oh my! Uh, <laughs> what actually? What I'm actually, just wondering how many guys, how many girls have tried to walk up to him and tried to seduce him. Actually, what what me and Jody, uh, I don't know if we're still going to do it, but what we had planned, we we're going to make oh, a yeah. we we're going to make a sign that had that was like a speech bubble and had oh my in it and make him hold it on the photo. Oh, you, you mentioned this last that. week as well, yeah, and you haven't done it yet. No, yeah. you failed. Just failed. One thing I wouldn't want failed. Yeah, Jody's girls are getting a tattoo on the on Sun on the Sunday. Oh lord. So yeah, so anyway, another person I'm looking. Remind me to bring some salt. Oi! Be nice. Be nice, my girlfriend. Hey, yes, I was gonna put the salt on you. (laughs) (laughs) Jody just messaged with me on Facebook. She's like, "Yes, we still got to make that sign." Yeah. Uh. Um, another person I'm looking forward to meeting is Jason David Frank. Oh yeah, I'm def- uh, definitely getting my photo with him. His all his um signature and photo tokens sold out on Saturday at Melbourne Supernova. He, the line was incredible. It was actually most popular, and then second was Christopher Lloyd. Wow, everyone well, loves Tommy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All I'm gonna say is that my fo- I plan on getting my photo taken with him with Saba, one of my friends that's got that as a sword, yep. and a, um that I have a morpher. So that's going to be yeah. pretty cool. Um, um, he, as for what I've confirmed, he didn't have helmets in Melbourne Nova because he didn't know what to bring down, so they're going to try and ship something for Gold Coast. I don't know what, though. Oh, my God. He's only got five different helmet types. That he <laughs> that's what we said. It's like, he's only got five different helmets. Even he's like, He didn't even have a morph or anything. So, yeah. well, well, they got, well, I mean, he's only got the flash. original green, original white. He can borrow my morph of the... Yeah. As like, long as he gives it back signed, that's fair payment. Forgive the sign. <laughs> well, um, I've got two. Yeah. Okay, you go. Um, Rachel from um, now I've had a mind blank. <laughs> um, she's from oh, where are you? Sorry, I've had a mind blank. I was looking at the one from guest. Bring up the guest list. I'll help. Um, um charisma. Charisma or Georgina? Or oh, Rachel Starkin? Yes. Yeah. Scarston. Ah. Rachel Scarston, yeah, she's further down than I thought. Down the list. And there's also the girl who's in. Uh, oh, wait, was he? Oh, no, that's for Sydney Nova. Yeah. Ooh, from Flash. I just noticed Barbara's coming down. Barbara yeah. Dunkelman. Uh, Barbara and Aaron from Rooster Teeth are coming uh, down. They are the voices of Blake and Yang in Ruby. Nice. So there's and also uh, with the, actually there's um they also made a team Bumblebee T-shirt. 
Nice. Only for, only for um, Supernova Convention. So the the uh, the Bumblebee ship is OTP is real. <laughs> uh, I'm not jo I'm not joking. There is a lot of them. There's a you have no idea how much of a following there is for the Bumblebee OTP. <laughs> Uh, another a returning guest we got um, Manu's coming back I, I think he's been at every supernova I've been to for the past couple of years <laughs> he, lo he loves no, it down here he I didn't think it. he had been I, I know he went to Sydney now but that was it yeah. no, he, was he was up in Brisbane yeah. okay. I just remember seeing him on the list a lot Yeah, uh, Sydney, Perth, Adelaide and Brisbane for last year unfortunately we lost my arrow that I wanted to go and see Will huh? uh, Willa Willa yeah, Willa yeah. had to cancel. She was Thea in Arrow, and she was also Akka in Kingdom Hearts, Birth by Sleep. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can I'm tell still, I kind of do I'm, my research. Yeah, I'm still looking forward to seeing um, Robin Lord Taylor, Penguin from Gotham. I want, I, 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 I'm want. torn. I really want to get a photo with him, but I don't know if I can afford it. Yeah, that's the boat I'm in. I'm sort oh, of prioritizing. God, so amazing, though. And I'm also prioritizing making sure I have enough money to give to Dave for a Shadow Fox or something. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, Scarecrow, for a Shadow Fox thing. Yeah. But yeah, w uh, it's like, I would love to get one. It just depends on what funds are and stuff. So. Yeah. Well, I'll put it this way. I'm getting at least three signatures from George Takai, at least three signatures from Nicole Nichols, and at least three signatures from Walter Koenig. That'd be a fortune. There goes my budget. It's yeah. gone. What budget? Uh, <laughs> um, a Q and A I'd love to go into is it would be um the one I don't know if they're gonna do a duel on, but the one with the Pirates of the Caribbean guys, Martin Kleber and Kevin McNally. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Just because I've heard, just because I've heard a few things. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, actually, for those who don't know, I actually put my hand up to be an extra on Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, they didn't want me, so. Well, why? That sucks. Because I'm a fat ass. Freaky bastard! I figured I'd make a good monster, but apparently not. I probably could have gone away if I grew my beard out to be like a prisoner or something. Yeah. I'd, just, I, I, I'd quite happily man. be a drunkard. Drunkard, just sort of. Ah, ah. <laughs> I know someone who's better at that than you, naturally. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, seriously, if I could have got Bear involved. Eh, that's a scary thought. Anyway, yeah. um, one of the things I'm actually looking forward to is um, Hannah Be Live. Yeah. So uh, for those who don't know what Hannah Be Live is, Hannah Be used to run a podcast, yeah. but they sort of canned it. But they sort of they sort of bringing it back for like Gold Coast Super for Gold Coast and Melbourne Supernova. Nice. So, and uh, yes, Barbara and Aaron will both be there, and there's also a couple of uh, guest hosts as well. Nice. And then. I think I'm definitely going to be hiding away from the guy who does um, Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Jody will probably want to go see him. Wait, what? Yeah, uh, Robbie Raymond, the voice of uh, Tuxedo Mask in original Transformers. Uh, uh, original Transformers. <laughs> original Sailor Moon. <laughs> I was thinking that, wait, there's a tux Tuxedo Mask in Transformers? <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm Why was at... I not involved? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at his page and it has Sailor Moon, Breadwinners, and then Transformers and Rescue Robots, so I got the two confused. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, no, the original Tuxedo Mask is going to be there as well. Cool. Can we... Does... If he... Start throwing roses around, so help me God, I will be rifle butting him. Just <laughs> getting it out there. Yeah. Is, okay, how about if we use him and um, Vic Mignana together? Uh, v oh, Vic. <laughs> so, I swear, if, if, if Vic was if Vic was at Cold Coast, the, the amount of, of love sick girls that would be there would be crazy. Tuxedo Mask is just as bad. No, trust me, Vic's way, 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 way worse. <laughs> Try being a Q&A with, with Vic, or you just hear screaming girls, you go deaf. Yeah, I know, I've been there. I was there for the Sydney one. My ears. We could hear him over the other, um, other side of the stage. Other side of the um, room. Yep, yeah, that, that, that's Vic. We know. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else is there. Uh, cosplay chess is on. Uh, the cosplay parade on Sunday. Um, 
Yeah. Usually, I, usually yeah. I'm in that. For the past couple of years, I was in that with my Jedi bit gear, but because I'm not cosplaying this year, I'll be actually going to be on the other side and watch it for once. Yeah. See, I'm tempted um, when it comes to cosplay. For my photo with the three Star Trek guys, um, I'm tempted to be McKay. Yeah. <laughs> just, just because I know how much that would piss the fans off. But that said, I specifically I went saying, out just, of the way to buy a, a Captain Kirk jumper. Um, oh. So it looks like his yellow shirt, but it's actually quite jumper. warm. <laughs> um, nice. Which is actually really nice. It only cost me like 30 or 40 bucks. I mm. can't remember. It's even I'll got the little just... thing, the tassel things on the arms. Um, and I'll so plan on wearing that. Just well, see, my, shirt, kill you off. my plan is really smart. I'm going to get my photo with the three of them. And then I'm gonna Photoshop Shatner from my photo with him last year in front. <laughs> That's so cool. Because for, because thanks to the power of Photoshop, I now have a photo with me and all of the surviving Star Trek people. I think. You think? I'm pretty you sure. Think? The original series main cast. Because Bones died ages ago, Scotty died ages ago, and Leonard Nimoy died a little while ago. So. I wonder. I wonder if there'll be any. If we'll see any spots. Probably quite a few. Yeah. Which is why I tend on photoshopping my shirt from yellow to blue. Just trying to think, what else is there? Uh there's cosplay bingo. So Seriously, are they just getting desperate for ideas now? No, they've been doing the cosplay bingo for a few years, actually. Yeah. How does it work again? Uh you. Go, uh, so you've got a bingo card, and you got to go find different cosplays and stuff. <laughs> and, you get photo- and you get photos with them. Oh, yeah. I'm sort of disappointed that I don't shoot inside my Martian Knight gear. Yeah. And I need to buy a walking stick for it, so I'll be getting that between now and September. Cosplay chess is always funny to go watch. Yeah. Especially because especially uh, you have to kill the, um, the, the opposing piece as your character. It was really satisfying telling Cloud to commit suicide as, as or force force uh persuading Cloud to commit suicide as Obi Wan Kenobi. Wow. <laughs> I, I went dark. I'm just trying to think how if I was dressed as McKay, how would I kill somebody? <laughs> they, they, I'd, sh- I'd shoot a P90 into the air randomly, and maybe one of the bullets would hit them. Hey, I got I got killed by Batman and Robin. How do you think that works? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm talking, I'm talking the dynamic juror from the '60s. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Fun. What was, was a, what's one of the funniest ones I see? Oh, when we're all lining up for photo, uh, they do a group photo with everyone at the beginning, and someone chucked a head crab in, like, like in the front, in front of everyone, and everyone just t- just turned on the head crab. <laughs> Like it was like it was remote, like it was a electronic remote control one that someone made, so it was like moving around and jumping and stuff. Oh, that's awesome! I want one. Yeah, it was really cool. I'll take three. Hey, <laughs> why not buy three? <laughs> I st- me- I still want to do the um. If if I ever cosplay, I still want to get a gas mask and then go around to all Doctor Who cosplays and be like, "Are you my mummy?" Uh, my sister watched that episode the other day, and she was going. Yeah, she couldn't sleep properly after that. She had all the lights on in that. <laughs> it is a disturbing episode. Yeah. yeah. The funny thing is, you can actually find gas masks like that at a bit, pretty much every antique shop ever has a, a gas mask in it. <laughs> I know, but then you've got, to, but you've got to fog it up as well, but you don't want to fog it too much so you can see. Yeah. Well, it's not that hard. You just um, just tint it over a bit. Yeah, sure. So, if you pull, if you polarize it and tint it heavily enough you can look out of it quite easily with it still looking pretty dank from the outside but yeah just walk up to people are you my mummy mummy i'd love to do that go up to a weeping angel it's like hmm what's scarier yeah are you my mummy you know are you my mummy exterminate <laughs> <laughs> here's a funny thing guys last year at sydney nova a guy got asked to uh, leave a train because he was dressed up as that character. <laughs> of... I, guess I had heard about that. So, why did you put a gas mask on a person, Scarecrow? <laughs> I did not. I just so happened to be on the same train as the guy. <laughs> so, what happened? Basically, he was freaking the customers out. So, yeah. the cops went on board and literally asked him to Disembark. either remove the, face the 
um, gas mask or himself from the train. Problem was, I think he'd stuck it to his face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Why would you do that? How would you take it off? That would hurt. It was a soluble uh, uh, thing, care. and he had the solution to take it off at home. Yeah, but you that means think... you've still got to go a whole day without, you know, starving. Mm. Oh, he did have a... So Doc has returned from the gates of hell, i.e. Melbourne Supernova. Good timing, oh, Doc. Awesome. We are currently talking what we're expecting from Gold Coast Supernova. <laughs> So, and Doc is, from what Doc told me earlier, he's actually really looking forward to this one. Yeah. Mm. I've yeah. been looking forward to it for like ages because A, I get to catch up with lots of people and friends. Uh, and B, dead. Having been told, after Doc told me exactly why he's looking forward to it, I'm in complete and total agreement with him. Yeah. Why, what, why is Doc looking forward to it? Is it, is it allowed on podcast or not? <laughs> it's come. We've got six listeners, one of which is the person that told him. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> he has family over. Oh god. <laughs> Needless to say, Supernova is the lesser of the two evils. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I heard about the bootleg merchandise store. That was horrendous. What happened? Wait, what? There was a, uh, apparently it was a store down at Mel um, um, Melbourne Supernova that had a whole lot of bootleg merchandise. It was really bad. Wow. For Doc to have taken action, that's more than, what, 70% bootleg? That's impressive. How, How does that uh -oh. even happen? Hey, I have no idea. Hey. Hi, Sky. Hello, Sky. Why oh. are you not coming to Gold Coast? You must, you must do, you must do the jazz hands with us. Oh yeah, that's another thing me and my oh, friends talked God. about doing. You know, on um GTA Five, it has all like the different the, the different hand stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So me and my friends have organised that we're gonna um when we're walking the Hannaby Live, we're gonna do different GTA um styles. Oh God. So I'm gonna do the jazz hands. Someone's gonna. Why do are you guys? Are you literally trying to torture poor Sky? <laughs> He was in on this as well. Uh, well, he was spending far too much time today watching let's GTA Let's Play videos. <laughs> the folk train has no brakes. Whoop, whoop. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> this podcast has officially this... gone so far off the rails we don't even know what the topic is anymore. This podcast has been hijacked by Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> no, it Thank hasn't. We're back to Nova. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking so. of Grand Theft Auto, it comes out tomorrow on PC. Yeah. Um. So, any, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, Grand Theft Auto. If you want to put up a safe sci-fi sign somewhere, and you, you, you feel free How to do it. How about we do news? We could, but I don't think Stuart's got any news. <laughs> There's not much. <laughs> okay. Well, how about this for news? And I'm stealing this from you because you don't have a say in the matter. One of the guys from Save Sci-Fi today was at oh. NASA. Michael, the admin that actually set up Sci-Fi originally, was at NASA talking to the different uh, people there, and he went to a couple of panels. He even managed to ask a couple of really cool questions. Um, if you want to check that out, we're going to have the video up as soon as we can, um, probably as soon as he gets back from um, Florida, back to his place. He'll upload it to the Dropbox, and then I've got to download it, which Australian Internet will take about six weeks, and then I'll, then I'll edit it up and put it up on the page. So keep an eye for that. Ooh, that sounds really bad. Okay, cool. Sorry, I was just reading what uh, Doc said. Yeah, that's really horrible. That's really rough. Oh? What, read uh, chat. Yeah, read re what... So, uh, basically, the whole place was dodgy, and they're trying to... Okay, yeah. So, um, effectively, Titan Anime was a store at uh, S Melbourne Nova. And it was the whole place was pretty much dodgy, and they tried every trick under the sun to convince the Supernova staff to let them stay for the weekend. By the end of it, there was quite a few people close to explode, explode, stabby, stab, explode, fire, lots of fire. Oh dear! So if Doc is now declaring war, yeah. Oh shit! 
Well, so if you if you're from super if you're a, a stall holder at Supernova, if you have any bootleg stuff, Hi, I no. highly recommend get burn it. I hate now. Stuff. Yeah, pretty much. So I I tolerate bootleg stuff to a degree, only if it's of equal quality to the original, which defeats the point of it being bootleg. So I just buy the fucking original. Not the stuff, him. Yeah, I know. I was trying to sort of deflect away from him specifically. So, in other words, if you have bootlegs, either yeah. don't bring them or burn them. Either yep. or, it's your choice. Yeah, I'm sort of but sad. The option is probably easier if you just don't bring them. Don't bring them or don't, burn them. Don't buy them in the it's... first place. Oh yeah, speaking of bootleg, did you hear that one of the bootleg stores near us has recently swapped over to actual proper stuff? Oh, which one? Do you know Sunnybank? Do you know the, yeah. the mecha place in there? You mean that dodgy mech shop? They've yeah. They've had legit stuff for a while, but it's, yeah, it's they've also had dodgies at the same time. Yeah, I know. The majority of it now is, bund is uh, branded proper stuff. Like, you look around, I can't see a dodgy one. It's all branded <laughs> proper stuff now. They looks like they've recently been redone, so... Yeah, the one with all the dodgy DVDs. Yes, they've still got a lot of dodgy DVDs. I mean, the, the kits, the actual mech kits are all bon um, Bandai brand ones. So, they same same sort of stuff that they've got at, um, what's it called? Zomster. Is it Zomster? Yeah. Yeah, the place yeah. is long. So, yeah. I'm just annoyed that Neo Tokyo, because they move shops, won't be able to make it. They've been too busy and stuff, so, yeah. I always like the Neo Tokyo store. They've always got cool stuff. Sort of sad that the only thing we've got close that's... Um, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. It's, it's come good. They've still got that really super dodgy... Um, super dodgy toy store in there that sells the no-brand Lego stuff. And, and the Marvel kits that have Batman and Superman in them with Iron that Man quite and the... No no no, it gets better. It gets better. Marvel the Avengers with seven toys. Iron Man, Hulk, that's smaller than Iron Man, Thor that looks like he's stoned off his face. Um, <laughs> the Red Power Ranger for um, I don't know which one, but it looks like one of the Red Power Rangers. That was um, Samurai, actually. Samurai. <laughs> Batman and Superman. I think, and there was one, there was another one. I can't remember who it was. It was, was it? It was it might have been one of the Ninja Turtles. It was the most sort of bizarre looking thing. I just took one look and I went, "What the fucking what?" <laughs> Sorry, yeah. they got to get their facts straight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's yeah. If they'd said mixed heroes, no one would have complained. No. 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 I. May or may not have dobbed them into centre management. <laughs> oh, they deserved it. Oh you no, no! Don't no. mix Batman and Iron Man and call it Avengers. I'm sorry, <laughs> nerd <laughs> rage. It's not happening. Actually, Power Rangers I could possibly forgive, but not Batman and Iron Man. That, no, no, done, done deal. Of... Although that would be an interesting one. Could you just picture an Iron Tech bad suit? Well, Speaking have you seen the of... the Lego um, kits they've got at the moment? got the iron man hulkbuster and they've got the um oh, speaking of hulkbuster and they've got the batman in a mech kit so i guess what i've got sitting on my shelf the hulkbuster wrestling the batman thing <laughs> okay we have sort of got off track yet again yeah uh speaking of avengers something is interesting came out about it um in 3d i don't know if they're getting released here or not but over in America, they're releasing a uh, special edition of uh, Avengers 3D uh, glasses. So there's one for each of the Avengers, then one for um, uh, Vision and um, uh, Ultron. Okay. <laughs> All right. I thought it'd be interesting. Oh yes, they had they had the um, they had the Hulk they had a giant Hulkbuster in Melbourne Supernova. Yeah, we saw the photos. That looks pretty damn impressive. Yeah. It'd be very awkward to move. Yeah, transforming down would not have been fun. 
And the question and is, who do I have to bribe it. to get one? <laughs> I have no idea. And who do I have? Who do I have to kill to get Luke in one? <laughs> you know you want to see that doc. <laughs> oh wow! Five six crates and a forklift. Yikes! As I said, it'd be awkward to move. Anyway. <laughs> Is your hand okay, Doc? <laughs> Game of Thrones. You fail, <laughs> Sky. Peter, you Peter fail. Dinklage. Okay. So, <laughs> Stuart, news. News, yes. Um, a story came out of Can um, Canada today. Ryan Reynolds was run over by paparazzi. <laughs> he's really? fine. He <laughs> yes, really. He's uninjured, but he got run over because the paparazzi was trying to take his photo. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yep. we can hear. Excellent. Sorry, there. Sorry about that. My microphone went spaz for a second there. Yeah, we could. I could hear. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, Continue, Stuart. Um, yeah. So uh, Ryan Reynolds was involved in an accident with, pap with a paparazzi. Uh, Ryan Reynolds has uh, um, went into the police to uh, report him, and they're currently looking for him. Well, the paparazzi should watch where they're driving. Shouldn't D run over what the trying to take Deadpool, photos of. At least the Deadpool is okay. <laughs> yeah. That's well, all we care you'd, about. You'd think they would have learnt from Princess Di, but no, eh, it's not good. They never away. learn. Uh, it's all Kevin, about the money, 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 it's all money. About the photo. No, it was not to do with movie promo stuff. It was outside a hotel, actually. It was outside yeah. the hotel it was no, staying no. at. I mean the money that they sell the photo for. Oh, no, no, no. I was talking to Doc. Okay. Because Doc asked if it wasn't part of the movie promo stuff. No, no. Um, It was outside the hotel it was staying at. Uh, oh. Keeping on uh, Canadian news. The oh, <laughs> here we go. The cast of Suicide Squad are currently over in Toronto, about to start filming. The in full cast is there. Are they in Toronto, eh? <laughs> that was the worst Canadian accent ever. <laughs> I'm well aware. <laughs> um, so there was a I picture that was care. there was a picture that was posted on Twitter. Yes. That had all them there, with some interesting extras. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, some interesting stuff. Some uh, actors that we weren't ex uh, weren't expecting to see. So obviously there's the main ones, but there are a couple of others that we weren't expecting to see, because there was a rumor that um Joe Maginella was going to play Deathstroke in it. Yeah. Uh, he's not there. Um, appa um, instead apparently um Jim Parrick is going to play Deathstroke, Ooh. and we also and there's also going to be a Hugo Strange as well. Ooh, nice. All right. Really quick, uh, Metal Rift is about to join us. He has come out of Daylight Savings Time and forgot that it's on an hour earlier for him. Yes! Oh, so. Muppet. Fail. Oh, so. Muppet, 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 Muppet. Yeah. So anyway, keep going with the news. Uh, what uh, else what there? there? Oh, oh Ek. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. We're getting, no, getting no. a lot sure. of Ek. We're getting a l way too much echo through Coop. <laughs> there's echo, and then there's... Coop, coop echo. Yeah, there's Coop echo. Um, yeah, there's uh, Amy level echo, and then there's uh, Coop level echo. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, Game of Thrones... Since when did you buy a Mitsubishi, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Metal Rift joined us, and then he's gone. Got airlocked. <laughs> he so, made that. Uh, He'll be back. And yeah, now so... we're getting crap tons of wind noise through somebody else who's about to get airlocked. Hey. hey. It's not, not Amy, me. That's me. Oh, wow. That's a first. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, so, yes, anyway, news. Go. I was going. Um, Game of Thrones got leaked online a day early. Nice not, job, HBO. Not just episode one, but one through four got leaked yeah, online. Four episodes got and leaked online. HBO's response? Oh, well, it happens. 
<laughs> we're gonna we'll just let it go why not yeah see that's the thing i like about hbo they've they've actually they're the only company i know of that's actually with the times and realizes pirating of shows well, technically is bad for money and ads yes i'm trying now is the best way to get free advertising for a show you can't get better advertising than pirating and from the research that I've read, the vast majority of people that pirate a show will go out and buy it on DVD or Blu-ray to get a proper quality version of it when it comes out. But in countries like Australia, where you've got to get the most expensive version of Foxtel, which is our pay TV imaginable just to get it, a lot of people are like, no, we're not paying 100 bucks a month or whatever the hell the ridiculous price is um, to in order to get Game of Thrones. Screw that. We're just going to quote get it from a friend um and yeah, they right, go out and they, right. they they buy the blu-rays and yeah yeah, it's, yeah that's what i ended up doing with season four <laughs> yeah Ooh, we have a new special guest joining doc? maybe oh let's see oh, if the doc approve it dave I... oh it's doc let's see let's come with a... the come with the hour come with the doc yeah Guys, sorry about running late. I keep forgetting that Dead Butt team is over now. Dead <laughs> Barker. Yeah, Barker. Uh, moving on to some Spider Man news. We finally have a confirmed loss to which Spider Man is going to be in the movies. Bye, Spider Man. <laughs> oh boy. Which one? No, it is still Peter Parker, however, we're going back to high school Peter Parker. So yes! Uh, not again. So around 15, yeah. 16 years. So I'm guessing this is going to be around Ultimate Spider Man. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I could okay. I could do that. That'd yeah. be good. All right, real hey, quick, I just want to give Doc a shout out. He's our supernova guy. So welcome to the podcast, Doc. And um, well, how... well, I don't know if I'm your supernova guy. I'm one of the one of the many volunteers that work at Supernova. You're the only person I know that works there, so that's good enough for me. I'm the only one person you know that's crazy enough to work there. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm exactly. not the minor. Uh, so, so, anyway, Spider-Man. Yes, I'm actually looking forward to a younger Spider-Man. I think that we've done older Spider-Man. It's only fair that we go back to being younger, young, younger young Spidey. Especially really young Spidey. I would, to be honest, I wouldn't. How mind... young would we be looking at? Would we be looking at preteen Spider-Man? Uh, 15, like 16. 15, 15, 16. 15, 16. Oh, oh, it's high school years. I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't mind being sort of 13 or 14 because that way every couple of years when they do a movie you could sort of see him go through high school as yeah, opposed I don't to want sp- I don't want my Spider-Man with back knee yeah. <laughs> oh. it's not like you'll see it it's un- he's oh. underneath the suit 90% of the time wait have you got I'm not sure if you guys have mentioned it yet but have you mentioned the infamous Stargate decision the infamous oh. Stargate decision I don't remember MGM MGM guess who they've given the movie rights to Oh, oh yeah. please don't say Michael Bay. No, but... <laughs> no. Bowl. J.J. Abrams. Let's leave Jar Jar out of it as well. Be, it won't be bad, it'll just be... Oh, terrible. God, lens flare. It'll be terrible. Lens, lens flare. flare everywhere. Lens flare. Um, you do realise that that's actually April Fool's news. Sounds you like dick. <laughs> You have failed catastrophically. It's the 13th of April. <laughs> yeah. That news was released on the 1st, and it said he was taking over from Roland Emmerich. And I just wanted to let you roll with it, just so I could crush you like a bug. Okay, um, I'm, 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 okay I'm going gonna... <laughs> to get outright spaced at that point. Okay, yeah, it's, gonna... it's, it's more fun. I like, I like to torture animals before I throw them out the airlock. <laughs> I'm, about to do an, I'm about to do an arrow quote. Battle <laughs> Rift, you have failed this podcast. Yeah. yeah. You've, no, no, you failed this news segment. Um, no, no, no. Don't do it so, the way you just did it. Do it like Megatron would to Starscream on his latest failure. <laughs> yes, Lord Megatron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Starscream! <laughs> you failed me yet again, Starscream. See, the funny yeah, thing is... me for the first time, for the last time, for the first time. Speaking of the Stargate Wait. movie... Do you... You hear how meta it's become? The original oh, Stargate movie yeah. was made to fund the original Independence Day. The Independence Day sequel is being made to fund the Stargate reboot. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> yes. Well, you're speaking of which, Brett Spiner's coming back for yeah. uh, Independence Day. 
because because he died and that uh, doesn't uh, logic much but whatever. yeah he might they, just a new character i think yeah brent spiner, minute, brent spiner was in yeah, he was he was the, the, alien, the mad science. He was like, a mad the mad scientist. That was Brent Spiner. Yeah. 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 Wow. I know. I didn't wow. recognize him either until. Well, um, think much of it this later way: on. they didn't shoot at him; they shot at the alien controlling him. Yeah, but it was assumed he was dead at that point anyway. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, God, that's the, 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 the assumption is movie. that he was in a coma the whole time. <laughs> assumption: the mother of all fuckups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to know some interesting movie news? Yes. We Is it finally, legit this time? We have, a, <laughs> we have a confirmed director for the Power Rangers movie that's coming out next year. Oh god, okay. not another one. J.J. Abrams! No. <laughs> Dean, Is Dean Israelite. Who? 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 Oh? And even I, that sounds like a crank. Well, it's not I... because Lionsgate announced it. Because it... <laughs> yeah, Lionsgate <laughs> has no sense of humour, so it definitely can't be... That, yeah, who else's name? Dean. De Dean Israelite. Apparently, he did a uh, Project Al Almanac. I don't know. Oh, that oh, thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that Wait, guy. Did, did you guys cover Daredevil earlier? Nope. No, we're leaving that alone. Because I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, de um, because we're watching okay. Daredevil at Supernova coming up. Um, Suckers, I've already finished it. So have I, but that's beside the point. Um, I already, already gave a would shout you like out to, to know to what Netflix happened? for that. Would you like to know what happened with the exclusive screening of Daredevil Episodes <laughs> 1 and 2? <laughs> it was preempted by Netflix. By Netflix. Yeah, I know. I gave... I gave... <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway. We're going to be talking Daredevil next week as well as a Supernova wrap-up next week, so... <laughs> Probably as well as lots of stuff. Um, <laughs> just for the record, odds are... <laughs> Mayrin and I will still be down the Gold Coast when you guys do your wrap up. Yeah, oh, no, but I heard about well, that. I'll be back. I'll be back in Brisbane. Yeah, I'll be back in Brisbane. I'll probably be have no voice and half asleep. No, I've got nothing. I'll most likely be three quarters through a, through a bottle of scotch. <laughs> Maybe we should Jeez. buy you a slushy on um, next Bamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll be needing more than slushy. You know uh, what I'm thinking? That, that, Let's that, get the slushy, then pour a bottle of scotch in the slushy. By any chance, Doc, have you got a, a minion that follows you around with a giant keg of Red Bull, and every time they come near you, you're just like, plug it into my veins! No, no, I've actually gone off energy... I've got, I've went off energy drinks for a while now, because it was actually making my heart start to race. It's that being that said, right. just I, usually, common side I only have one small can, sometimes, at the end of the con, just to help me pack the shit up. Yeah. Uh, can I get back to my news, please? What yeah. news? Back to your nudes? What? No. Are you trying to disturb us? <laughs> news, my good man. News. In what way am I good? a good man? I don't know. I was trying to sound smart. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, trying. All, all I'm going to say is that, Doc, you missed out on the best Banff ever. <laughs> we had discs to throw at each other. Oh god! <laughs> There's no throwing discs at the next one because we have a model kit night. Yeah, I know. Yes. I'm, I'm tempted to bring, bring my I'm Xbox. Bring, so I'm bringing my like. I'm bringing no, my bring, like. No, I'm bring your, bring your tower of many wonderful things. I'll be going through it like you would not believe. Oh, I, I will can, be. I'm gonna bring my Lager, So there is yeah. no yeah, point bringing your fixed. Xbox, Dave. It will not be getting hooked up to anything. Well, if I bring a TV. <laughs> John's already bringing another projector, and that's getting a PlayStation hooked up to it. <laughs> Why would you? To bring, oh, why I'm would so you put really, all the so effort into bringing? Why would you put all the effort of bringing in a projector just to hook a fucking PlayStation up to it? Why? PlayStation has why? Gone you can debate with it about it later. Why? Why? You've got like four minutes or oh, six minutes. Yeah, yeah semantics. Me, back to the news, please. Oh, I got a message from Jody. Yes. Uh, next Bamf is. Oh, I'll tell her <laughs> when next yeah. Bamf is. Yes. Uh, <laughs> next Bamf is a uh, Anzac Day. Anzac wow, day. Yes. almost. Yes. Almost called Australia Day, then we're gonna wow. have a oh, Almost oh, called it Australia Day. I was oh, really close to calling it Australia Day. <laughs> you could possibly phrase it in that way. Yeah. It's oh, gonna yeah, be a long wait if it is. It's yeah. Australia New Zealand Day. Yeah. 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 Alright, moving back to the news. We have a a filming date for uh, uh Doctor Strange. Ooh. When? Uh November this year. Oh Where? yeah. Where? So, so yeah, there's that. 
uh, Goku's got a new Super Saiyan form in the new Dragon Ball Z movie. That's oh, yeah, yeah. No, this time he's gone blue. Yeah. It's <laughs> now I can Congratulations, speak. Goku yes. has now beca- have reached Smurf mode. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it said, uh, it's like he's Sonic trying to outdo phone. Tommy. Yeah. It's, with different <laughs> color ranger suits. Well, let, let's 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 go through it. You've got black hair. You've got Kaioken red hair. You've got Super Saiyan yellow. Super Saiyan yellow. Super Saiyan yellow. You've got Super, Super Saiyan, Saiyan God, God in red, yeah. red, and then you've got yeah. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, um, blue. Yeah. So, was I, was I like to so call basically, him? he's gone through the whole rainbow. Yeah. So effectively, I'm thinking he... more along the lines of energy shift. No, I was just gonna yeah. say. He, he, went, he he jumped in front of the screen. He goes Mastodon, and then he goes Tyrannosaurus, and then it's all he's missing is pink. Then, and then, ti- the, no, and then it's Wait, Sabertooth oh, Tiger, and then it's um, Pterodactyl. <laughs> and the, uh, and, uh, they uh, use Chi-Chi for pink. And eventually, <laughs> it w- and eventually he reaches Triceratops, and then before you know it, he's a Megazord. I was thinking more of the um, Vegeta's son. Trunks. Trunks, uh, Trunks and... Um, Goten. Goten. Yeah, Goten oh, oh, combined. A- Oh, should we finish the news? We've only got three minutes left. (laughs) We are finishing on news. We're making fun of Dragon Ball. Leave us alone. Yeah. Oh, jeez. The people out there who haven't played Dragon Ball Xenoverse, it is probably the best Dragon Ball Z game in ten years. Mm, I've heard it. That seems about right. I've got got on the Xbox One, I barely put the damn thing down. Um, That said, there is moments where you grind, but you get that in every game. Brian. And also, if you haven't seen Dragon Ball Z Bridge, how do you? Well, you suck. I'm sorry, you, you need got, to watch Dragon Ball Z Bridge. It's really something you've got to grind because, let's face it, the entire DBZ mythos is all about grinding. Yeah, well, you've just it's it's just for, to get spe- unlock specific moves. You've got to do the same mission over and over again, and it's a Colin, ch- three minutes. It's a news. chance that a yes. thing will pop, and then a chance from that chance that the thing will pop, and it's just a pain in the ass. Yeah, I, I, I was going to burst a blood vessel. I love the fact that Cooper's trying to tell me what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any news left? Uh, there, uh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I can probably find something. Uh, okay. Uh, but you know, the, oh, actually, there is Naruto mo- uh, news. Oh. No. You know how um, Naruto has a kid? Spoilers for everybody. Yeah. Oh. So they have it. There's gonna do be a uh, his kid's gonna have a, a movie. It's called uh, his English name is Bolt. Yeah. But the Japanese translation is Boruto. <laughs> wow. Less than ninety seconds. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I love Sasuke's kid. Sasuke's kid's got like the Sharon gun, but also has glasses on. Nerd. That doesn't quite work if you think about it. <laughs> Reflection. Well, see, the thing that annoys me is that. None of Naruto's kids have Byakugan. That to me says that the only way to get Byakugan in the Hugo clan is to be inbred hillbillies. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which should explain so much. Okay, it's pretty much time to wrap this up, guys. Not really. We've still got two minutes. There's plenty of time. Not from where I'm looking. Uh, we well, normally just... What? Pull it off at the last... Nah, we... <laughs> second. Last ten seconds. We, well, prattle, we prattle on. Um, so, yeah. okay, anyway. Well, we've got six people say goodbye. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> Amy, go first. Okay, bye all. See you next week. Okay, Scarecrow. See you guys. Till next time. Metal Riff. Bye, everybody. Uh-oh. He is not Dr. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> not Dr. Nick. Is, do we have Doc still? Yes, you still have me. If you see a man in the high vis and a hat... Come up and say hi. Yeah. I may not bite your head off. Um, I'll feed you cupcakes. I'm going to be at... Super, we're going to be at Supernova Gold Coast in only a couple of days. Keep an eye out for me. I'm going to be dressed as McKay for most of it. Um, or if I can fit inside the gear, I'm going to be the one of the Martian Knights from Metal Noah Zero. What about McHale? No. Just no. Kick, 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 McHale. Oh, God. So, yeah. Um... So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun, and we look forward to catching you guys there. And if anyone actually bumps into us and recognizes us from the podcast, I'll give you a cup. Because I've got these damn things that I can't get rid of. Um, yeah, he has a lot of them. I can confirm that. Yeah, way too many. Uh, anyway, 
Uh, we shall catch you guys next time. Well, and... We're all half dead and have no voices. Yep, and we'll see you at Supernova Dirty. Bye. Bye. And guess Bye, what? Bye, guys. I'm muting the channel so Stuart doesn't get to say goodbye. No. <laughs> uh, he, uh, uh, he, uh, uh, he, uh, uh, he, uh, 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 uh